what appealed to me in Children's Mercy was this very uh, intimate relationship between clinical care, uh, advanced research tools, and then the families and patients themselves. And that's really unique to Children's Mercy. And I saw an opportunity to leverage that with my training in, in research genomics, bring those tools from research genomics directly to the patients. And what I called it at the time was bedside genomics. And that's what we really try to do, bring all the tools that are available to us researchers to help families. One of the differences in, in my work here at Children's Mercy as compared to my earlier work in other genome centers is that I'm close to the families. We did one test in our uh, Genomic Answers for Kids program and found the cause, which is a new disease that had just been described, but it couldn't have been found by traditional clinical testing. The research testing allowed us to find it and now this family at least can link to other families that have this condition and, and start to understand what is the outcome for this large number of kids and, and what are the attempts elsewhere to mitigate this severe neurological disease. Beyond helping families on a daily basis using research tools in a clinical setting, Genomic Answers for Kids aims in a, as a long-term consequence to make Kansas City and Children's Mercy as the hub for rare disease so the families that come here know that if it's not found at Children's Mercy, the cost for their disease is not found anywhere else either. And we think this leading edge approach is really important to put kids in the forefront and not to leave rare disease kids behind as they have been for so long.